Fat activist. What is a fat activist? It's like people don't understand the nature of being fat. Now, there's necessarily not anything wrong with being big. Well, you know, I could sit here and say that, but that would be ignoring all of the health issues that come with being fat. So, if we're being realistic here, it's not a good thing. And I don't really see how you could argue that. Maybe you could be like, oh, this is who I am. And you know, that's fine. You can be whatever you want to be. But at the end of the day, your choices do end up with consequences. You know, I could say there's nothing wrong with being fat in the case that, of course, you're a human being. You because it. you're a human being, you're good. You're normal. There's nothing you wrong with it. you. It's okay to be human. But if we're actually honest, if we're actually truthful, and we boil it down to science and to health, being a fat fuck is not okay. Now, this is just the perspective of a normal guy like me. I don't know what it takes to be so fat or bullied enough from being fat to the point in which I would want to be a fat activist and fight for the right to be fat. To be honest with you, I cannot comprehend that. Because I don't come from that world. I don't come from the world of, hey, there's something wrong with me, and I acknowledge that there's something wrong with me, and I'm getting picked on from it. But instead of doing something about it, I'm going to retaliate in another way. I know it's wrong for me to be fat and unhealthy, but rather than fixing that problem, I'm just going to retaliate and take away someone else's right to bully me or force their dog shit opinions down my throat. Well, you know, they're not really dog shit opinions because technically they are right. It is wrong to be fat because I'm an unhealthy and I acknowledge that. But, you know, I don't care. Maybe I don't have five minutes to go for a walk. Maybe I just want to be lazy. And those people making fun of my appearance, those people out there that might be bullying me because they care about my health, nah, fuck them. You know, I'm not one to glorify bullying. Bullying sucks ass and it's shitty. But in a way, it is a driving force that does help us grow up. It toughens your skin. I literally have a friend. Two friends, actually, because they both tell me this. They are both special ed, and they tell me that they're thankful that they had friends that could toughen their skin so they wouldn't turn out to be freaks. And they say that themselves. That's not me saying that quotable from the both of them. One said, I'm thankful for my older brother toughening me up enough so I wouldn't be a freak. And the other said, I'm glad I got bullied because it helped me sit back and look at my flaws and notice that something was wrong with me. And then it helped him change to be a little more normal. With my friends telling me this story, this is the world that I understand. When I was in the fifth grade, I was getting made fun of. I walk with my, I used to walk, and I still kind of do, with my feet pointing outward. This kid was cooking me, and he said, I have happy feet. Like from the movie Happy Feet. Hood kid said exactly, look at that little, look at his kid, look at his feet, look at him walk. He got happy feet. <laughs> and they're all laughing at me, and I was, I was like, damn, bro, I didn't, that was the first time somebody made fun of the way I walked, and I was just like, wow, bro. I kind of sat there and took a moment and processed like, damn, I never realized that I fucking walked funny. I wish someone would have always told me I walked funny so I could have potentially fixed it. The world as I understand it, words cannot hurt you because I come from sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That's like common sense to me. I don't give a fuck about what somebody says because all he can do is talk. I used to be one of the biggest shit talkers in my middle school. Top five cookers, if you will. I don't do that anymore because that's not cool. Because every time someone would make fun of me, I'd make fun of them so bad they want to fight me. And you know, you beat the first few kids up and then it's kind of like, okay, I can't keep getting in trouble at school because I can't beat up everybody. I'm gonna get expelled. As someone who got their feelings hurt by words before, and as someone who hurt the feelings of others by words before, I understand the effect of name calling and bullying. And when it comes to bullying, there's also a gray area in it. Sometimes com some good can come out of it because it'll make you self-reflect and want to better yourself. But all in all, bullying is not a good thing whatsoever. That's common sense. But I would never understand letting words upset me to the point in which I would become an activist. Especially for something so silly as being fat. 
If someone were to make fun of my teeth, they said my teeth were yellow and I need, I need to brush them. And the entire classroom laughed at me. Maybe I should go brush my fucking teeth. If somebody said I smelled like shit and the entire classroom was laughing at me, maybe I need to shower. Maybe if I'm a fat fuck and the entire classroom is laughing at me, I should get the fuck up and stop being fat. All three of these things are just self-negligence. Neglecting your health overall. If you don't brush your teeth, your teeth are going to be yellow. If you don't shower, you're going to stink. If you don't work out, you're going to be fat. Now imagine if someone had some yellow ass teeth cavities. They came at you sideways. You comment on how they neglect their teeth. And then they go out here and they become a teeth activist. I don't, I don't give a fuck about my dental hygiene. And no one has the right to comment on how I don't give a fuck about my dental hygiene. I smell like shit. And I am an activist. A bad hygiene activist. I can smell like shit and I don't give a fuck. And I don't want anybody, anybody to comment on how bad I smell. There might be a football game, a basketball game. Y you know, there might be a fuck. Your child might be claiming a goddamn terrific kids award or some stupid shit like that. And I'm sitting here in the crowd smelling like absolute dog shit. I don't give a flying fuck. And you're not allowed to comment on about it. All you can do is sit there and smell it. And if you, if you do comment on it, you're a piece of shit human being because my life is so hard and you don't understand it. I don't brush my teeth because I'm scared of toothpaste. I don't brush my teeth or bathe my body because I don't have the time to do it. I'm a fat fuck because I don't have the time to be healthy. How is any of this different from being a fat activist? Now, it's messed up if you do have some sort of deficiency or disability and it's messing you up. I, personally, I had a friend who had this di this like deficiency with his teeth. I don't know what the fuck it was called, but me personally, I always thought he just had horrible dental hygiene. But he, one day he told me, and we were sitting down, and he was like, Oh, uh, I actually hate my smile. And I'm like, bro, why do you hate your smile? He's like, well, because I have this deficiency which causes my teeth to look like this. And I was like, wow, I just thought you didn't brush my, your teeth. He's like, no, dude, I brush my teeth every day. And I was like, wow, it's kind of fucked up. I feel bad for you, bro. And now if you were to make fun of somebody knowing they have some sort of disability and they can't change the fact that they're built that way, that is absolutely fucked up. We can all agree on that. I'm sure we can. But when it comes to the basics of health and hygiene, I just don't understand how that can be debatable. I don't understand how you could be so unhealthy that you could have the potential risk of having diseases and you'll choose those diseases and you'll willingly choose a lower ranking on the social totem pole in life as we know it because you want to neglect your own hygiene and health what exactly are you fighting for at that point if not your own petty beliefs you're free to disagree but from a scientific standpoint how is this wrong? I'm one for open perspectives, different beliefs, etc. But I don't know what the possible standpoint could be for being a fat activist. What the fuck is a fat activist? Am I wrong for saying this? If so, how? There's a potential that you could give me some sob story about some trauma that you had from being fat. But with that sob story, there's plenty of other sob stories about people who lost their life because they were too fat. Sob stories about how people cannot work because they are so fucking fat. So I don't know what the potential argument could be outside of someone else's selfishness and neglect. You could say you're fat and you love yourself. And that's a perfect thing to say. There's nothing wrong with that because at the end of the day, no matter what shape or size you are, what color you are, you should love yourself. Be confident in yourself no matter what shortcomings you may have. And if you, if you can say that, that you love yourself no matter how fat you are or whatever, then you should have enough confidence to not give a fuck about what people have to say. 
At the end of the day, fixing this problem boils down to confidence. You cannot silence someone else's opinion. You cannot control people. It is literally impossible. You're going to make it a law that you can't talk about somebody's weight? That sounds absolutely ridiculous. So again, I ask you, what the fuck is a fat activist? I just had to give my thoughts on what a fat activist was because I just don't, uh, I don't know why I'm seeing this on the internet. People saying insane things about their weight and all this crazy shit. It's like they're delusional. But with all that being said, I just want to give my thoughts. And with that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, please. And I'll see you guys in the next video.